whoever clicked on the link and read through the article would see my proclamation that I am gay. Hello friends, Zoe here, Zoe Stoller if you don't already know me, and today I am super excited to share with you all my coming out story, except the fun part is I actually have two coming out stories, really several different LGBTQ identities. Uh, first I came out as a lesbian, which is the first one that I'm going to share in this video. Um, then I came out as gender fluid several years later, that'll be a part two. Um, and then I have other identities as well. Um, I'm demisexual and I've also realized demiromantic. So like those are within the asexual and aromantic uh, umbrellas. I mean, I only experience sexual and romantic attraction when there's an emotional bond that comes along with it. For me, an emotional bond with person is everything. But I didn't like actually really come out with that those last two, but I'll make videos about those anyway in the future though, because right now we are on part one, which is how I came out as a lesbian. So I came out as a lesbian when I was 20 years old. I actually only realized that I was a lesbian when I was 20 years old. I had spent the prior many years of my life before that uh, believing myself to be the straightest woman to ever be a straight woman. And I unfortunately really leaned into that in that I started dating guys when I was 14 years old. And I was a serial dater basically after that. I constantly had a boyfriend, sometimes even multiple boyfriends. I actually had one serious boyfriend for two years when I was in high school. And when I got to college, I continued dating boys until my sophomore year when I actually unfortunately went through a trauma that really plummeted my mental health and led me to seek therapy, which was great. Seeking therapy is amazing. I still see that very therapist to this day, almost six years later actually. But through therapy and working on myself and kind of challenging the status quos of my life prior to that and what society had taught me a straight woman should do and be and act as, I slowly decided to back off dating men. I was able to realize that that was not good for me and then many, many months after that, after not dating anybody, I had this realization that I might be into women because I went to a party on my college campus. I was now 20 years old in my junior year and it happened to be a gay party and a girl flirted with me and I liked the way it felt. And at first I was really hesitant to claim that because I thought I couldn't be a lesbian because I had only dated men up until that point and I hadn't even been with a woman at all aside from kissing them once in a while, but I'd never slept with a woman or dated a woman. But luckily I quickly learned that actually you can be a lesbian no matter what your past romantic experience is. And there are so many lesbians out there who have fallen into compulsory heterosexuality, which I did, which is when all the cues of society in the world are telling you that you are a straight woman and you should be with men and so you do that. That's a very, very common experience and it doesn't negate the fact that I'm actually not really attracted to men and I've always been attracted to women, which I'm now able to see. But this brings us to the reason we are all here, my coming out story. So I had quickly realized and accepted the fact that I am a lesbian and I wanted to start dating women and have a girlfriend and I knew that that meant that I probably had to come out to the world because I thought that it would be weird if I suddenly started openly dating a woman without telling people my identities. But of course, I mean, people can do whatever they want. You don't have to come out if you don't want to. And I was wrong to think that I couldn't just be myself and, you know, not have one big announcement. But regardless, I decided to come out. So the first thing I did was text my mom because she'd known that I had struggled with my mental health the year before that and been struggling for a little bit. And I started to be more open with her kind of about what I was thinking and feeling. So I shared with her that I had recently discovered that I'm a lesbian. And I also told a few really close friends of mine. But the major coming out actually happened all at once through social media slash my school newspaper because coincidentally the timing of me coming out was right around the time that Trump was elected unfortunately back in 2016 and one of my friends at college worked for one of the school newspapers and they were doing a series of election reflections so she asked me if I would write one so I did and in that reflection I decided to come out as gay and just say openly I am a gay woman because I still believe myself to be a woman at the time but that is the story for part two once that article was published online, I shared the link to my Facebook page because I was still actively using Facebook back then. Now I mostly share things to, you know, Instagram or here or elsewhere. And whoever clicked on the link and read through the article would see my proclamation that I am gay and that is okay. And I was really lucky that for the most part, everyone took it really, really well. I really didn't have any backlash when I was coming out. Um, my community and my family was really, really supportive, which is a really amazing thing. And I know something that not everybody has. It's actually probably not the norm even to have that. So. I feel really lucky and fortunate to, to have had that experience. There were some people who uh, were offended, I guess, by the, you know, the impersonal element of me coming out, I guess. People really close to me in my life uh, who were 
I guess, disappointed that I didn't tell them specifically before kind of, you know, telling the community at large. But I don't regret the way I came out because that's just what, how I needed to do it in the moment. That's what felt best to me. And when you're coming out, you have to remember it's always about you. It's not really about anybody else. And other people, you know, will have their feelings about it. But in the end, you have to do what makes you feel best and most affirmed. And for me, that was just sharing it all publicly at once and not sending text messages to every single person except for, you know, my mom and like a friend or two. So there you have it. That's how I came out as a lesbian back in 2016 when I was 20 years old. And now it is 2021 and I'm 25 years old. So I've been out for five years, which is so wild because it feels honestly like just yesterday that I was coming out and like discovering myself and being really, really confused, but suddenly so sure of who I was and so ready to just change my life and live openly as a queer person. So as I shared, I have several other coming out stories because I am not just a lesbian. I have several other LGBTQ identities in my back pocket. <laughs> so I will be making more videos with those coming out stories, so stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you can click the button somewhere down below and also click the little notification bell so you can find out when I post my next video. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day or night or whatever time it is. And I'll talk to you later.